What's going on, everybody? Xavier Porter, shoot the five. You already know what it is. Um, just heard some disturbing news. Sitting here reading an article online. Excuse me, and it says that I, former IBF lightweight champion Robert Easter Jr., aka Bunny, is currently on the run out there in Toledo, Ohio, for assaulting a, a woman near his home or around his home in front of his crib. Who knows? Apparently, um, the report says that he punched a woman in the face, he bust the mouth open, split her lip, chipped her teeth, and knocked her out. That's what the report says. That's the allegation. And now they're saying that he's on the run. Um, it's kind of disturbing if, if, this, if this is true. You know, no one is in favor or nobody supports men beating on women or men hitting on women. Um, unless he was going to, you know, defend himself. We don't know the story behind this. We don't know if she, you know, if, if this, we don't know if this is true. Like I said, right now it's just an allegation. Um, but we don't know if, hey, she went over there and pulled out a weapon on him. You know what I mean? Pulled out a knife or a gun. Maybe he has some people over there trying to get at him. We don't know. But I, I do want to emphasize the fact that no one condones men hitting on women at all on no day. Um, and, and it's kind of sad because, you know, you know, um, just the other day, I believe if, if not yesterday, Saturday or Friday, Robert Easter just opened his own little, little, um, bar and grill out there in Toledo. I forgot the name of it, but I was, I was sort of pictures and everything. And I was reading the articles on it. And I was like, that's great that, you know, he opened his own business in his hometown and he can make some money outside of boxing or some entrepreneur, you know, entrepreneurship. I think that's a fabulous thing. And then right around, and now he's facing a serious allegation of assault on a woman. And the police are saying he's on the run. They've actually charged him. You know, he's, he's alleged to have done this crime. He's actually been charged. I don't know how they do things in Toledo, Ohio, where you could charge a person without the person he was seeing the judge. But apparently, he's been charged for his, uh, a simple battery assault. And they're on a hunt now looking for him. They can't find him. I just finished, like I said, I just finished reading an article about five minutes ago, you know, made some phone calls. Uh, I know some people in Ohio and everything. And it was like, yeah, this is this is what's going on right now. But like I said, this is allegations. However, this young lady, whoever she is, she took pictures. They said he knocked her out, had a mouth leaking, chipped or two. Basically, bust the whole mouth open from what she says he did. And for what the police is looking for him to address this issue. Kind of sad though, man. Again, real sad that this is taking place in this young man's career, if this is true. But you know, with a situation like this, we already know we've seen things happen with Adrian Broner. You know what I mean? Because the um incidents with women, physical incidents or cases with women. You know, Floyd had to spend some time in jail. I think he did like 30 days of solitary for um the, the assault on his on his kid's mother which he firmly still says he didn't do, but he, you know, ended up being um, convicted of the crime. And he had to spend time in solitary and, and came out looking like a whole different Floyd. You know what I mean? He came out with Bagwell Floyd with the Afro. <laughs> and we all know that AB was, you know, what was it, like nine or something, thousand dollars or a million dollars, he had to pay back some restitution for the young lady that he touched on the booty in the club and all that, and, and he was on that Instagram thing, like everybody sent me a dollar here, $13 there, and, and eventually, I don't know if it's paid off, you know, but I, mean, I do know that AB still go to court for a lot of incidents when it comes to women. So, you know, and, and, there's, and there's, other, there's other fighters who, you know, who have men in general who have put their hands on women and everything. But again, I'm not gonna sit here and jump out the window and accuse Robert East off the whip. Like I said, I don't know, I, I, I've read the article, I've heard from what others have told me from people that I know out there lives in, in certain cities in Ohio. And it was like, you know, yeah, that's the story out here that people are saying he did this, he did that. And now they're saying he's on the run. Um, we'll just have to wait and see because, you know, you, 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 you're, in today's day and any day, you're always proven guilty before you, you, you're proven innocent. You're, excuse me, you're always, you're always found guilty before proven innocent. And I, I, for one, would like to hear the man's story and hear what he got to say in regards to this situation. Because if this, if this holds to be true, 
It's gonna be. It's not gonna be a great look on him. He's gonna have to pay some money. He's probably gonna get sued. And then also that he's gonna have to do some time. You know what I mean? He's he's gonna have to do some time. He ain't gonna do no weeks. He's charged with a battery assault, a gra- aggravated battery assault. You know what I mean? That's that's and, and God knows in, in, in Ohio they ready to throw the book at the brothers like it's nothing. You know what I mean? You know any state ready to throw the book at anybody that laid a hand on a female. And if the pictures come out, if this holds to be true, and pictures come out and people get to see her face and her face all busted open like they said it is, they said her lip, they said both of her lips are split, her teeth has been knocked out or chipped, and she just was knocked out. Period. So you know, and, and professional boxers, hands are registered, and he got power. So if he popped her and dropped her and knocked her out, I can imagine how she looked. I can only imagine how she looked. But that being said, let's hold tight. Let's sit back and wait, see what takes place with this situation. Um, and hopefully, you know, hopefully, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I have, I have no horse in the race. You know what I'm saying? But I just find the situation to be sad and, and hope everything works out for both parties. You know what I mean? Want to see, we, you know, everybody wants to see money back in the ring. He's a really good fighter. He's moved up to 140. His last move was against Ryan Martin at 140. I think money could be a, a viable threat at 140. You know what I'm saying? He's tall, long. He got good speed. He got good range. He got power. And he don't back down. That's one thing the buddy don't do. He don't back down for any opponent. He had a tough going against Mike Garcia, but he never backed down and he never waited. So with that being said, true fight fans, we would like to see money back in the ring. And hopefully this situation, you know, it'll, it'll work itself out and we'll see how it goes going forward. Let me know your thoughts, Xavier Porter. You know, right now it is, you can find I'm going to come out to you having another one. And I still got to do my versus wrap up because I was in the building and, and I don't think people really understand what took place. You, a lot of people, y'all watched it, but to be in the building was a whole nother wave. So I'm going to come back to y'all soon enough, man. Peace.